Remember that meme that someone would say, Avengers Endgame is the best crossover movie ever created, and then someone says, hold my beer? This entire review is a hold my beer meme. Let me explain the Toy to Life games. Okay, okay, I know, Toy to Life games today are practically dead at this point because you have to buy the figurines and it's a collectible. You do want them, but sometimes they go get expensive and rare. Games like Skylander, Disney Infinity, and the Nintendo Amiibos, and it makes sense. You would collect them because they look pretty and nice. But there is one game that basically popularized the figurines of the Toy to Life game so well to get a lot of hands-on action with the figurine, and it's possibly one of the most craziest crossovers ever created. Ladies and gentlemen, LEGO Dimensions. Created by Traveler's Tale, the same company who made several LEGO video games, this is possibly the most insane crossover they have ever created, and that's saying a lot. You got not only the DC Universe, the LEGO Movie, Lord of the Rings, The Simpsons, Ghostbusters, Doctor Who, and etc. Because it just was so much. Well, let me explain the game. The plot revolves around Batman, Wildstyle, and Gandalf basically going around the multiverse and saving it from Lord Vortech. And you basically go around several universes. The first universe you go to is, well, the Wizard of Oz. Not surprising there. Then you go to Ninjago, The Simpsons, and of course, Doctor Who. Now how the gameplay works is, well, if you've ever played any of the LEGO games before, you basically know how each character could work. Now, for Batman, he has his Detective Vision, Grapple Gun, and Batarangs. For Gandalf, he uses magic. For Wadzal, she's a master builder. But of course, here's the hands-on reaction. They also give you a vehicle figurine, and this is interesting because you, if you have enough studs and upgrade the vehicle, you can actually rearrange and build in a different way. That's really interesting for LEGO to actually show us the instructions in the game and we actually build them in real life. The game comes with several packs, which is the starter pack that has Batman, Gandalf, and Wildstyle, level packs, which basically includes not only the figures, but also a story for that world, and fun packs. Basically you have the figurine and you can go to said world. Sure, I know it sucks because you need a certain figurine to go to one of the certain worlds, but I think it works with this game well because you have more hands-on reaction and you can actually collect them on your shelf. Literally, I have a full LEGO Dimension set on my shelf. One of the key moments in the game are the keystones. They basically allow different kinds of modes and each Keystone allows a different power in the toy pad. The shift keystone lets you teleport in different directions. The elemental keystone allows you to control fire, water, earth, or electricity. The scale keystone lets you grow or shrink. And the locate keystone basically lets you pull anything from a different dimension. For example, a Dalek in Aperture Science. What was that? It was all exterminate, and there was fire and explosions. I think I admire its attitude. Of course, I could not say more about this game without mentioning the creativity that they brought to life with each character that's brought into this game. One of the best characters that I always play as in this game is the Doctor. Because, okay, I'm a Whovian and I love Doctor Who. The Doctor's abilities include the sonic screwdriver which is used for mechanics and break glass, K9 which is his robotic K9 companion during Tom Baker's run of the show and appearance in the 10th Doctor's run, and possibly the best thing in the game, the TARDIS, which you expect... It's bigger on the inside! Is it? I noticed! <laughs> it's... But the best part of this is the fact whenever the Doctor dies, he regenerates, and it's every incarnation of the Doctor. Well, every incarnation before Jodie Whittaker. Now before you say anything, one, I do like Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. 
She's decent, she's fun, I, she has their moments. I know it's the writer's fault, not the actor. The 13th Doctor is pretty much a fun character. She's socially awkward, fun-loving, excited, but that doesn't mean she can get serious at times. My favorite episodes of the 13th Doctor include the woman who fell to Earth, the Ghost Monument, Rosa, Arachnids in the UK, Demons of Punjab, Kerblam, The Witchfinder, Resolution, Spyfall, Orphan 55, Nicholas Tesla's Night of Terror, It Takes You Away, and Revolution of the Daleks. Those are my favorite episodes of the 13th Doctor. And sure, you might say, really? Sure, you can't argue that some of the episodes I just listed were one of the weakest ones, and I don't mind. But you have to remember that even the 7th Doctor had his weakest moments. Like, when I'm in weak, I'm in as weak as the 13th. So, there's no doubt that they have to hire new writers to make sure that it gets a really dark final season. With that out of the way, let me explain more. Yeah, of course, each character has a different ability. For example, Shell can fire portal guns, the Doctor can use the TARDIS, Marty McFly can use his DeLorean time machine, the Ghostbusters can use the Ghost Trap, the Masters of Spinjitzu can use, well, Spinjitzu, the Masters of Chi and from Legends of Chima can use, well, Chi, and the Master Builds can, well, do ma some building. But those are only the first five waves that are introduced in the first year of the game. Introducing Year 2, it basically shows the reboot Ghostbusters level pack, which basically recreates the entire movie. Adventure Time, Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The A-Team, Sonic the Hedgehog, E.T., the Gremlins, Teen Titans Go, The Lego Batman Movie, The Goonies, The Powerpuff Girls, Beetlejuice, Knight Rider, and several other characters that are in this game. Like, this is pretty cool. So, is there a way three? Oh, sadly no. Even though the game is well made, well developed, and well created with the use of the player using actual real LEGO for the game, it still wasn't enough to create Year 3 due to the lack of sales. Plus, it was rumored that these companies and franchises would be in LEGO Dimensions, including Despicable Me, Captain Underpants, How to Train Your Dragon, Shrek, The Smurfs, Avatar, King Kong, Godzilla, Minecraft, Mega Man, Angry Birds, Thunderbirds, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, and Tintin. And there's more. Several fans were disappointed that Year 3 was never coming, so they made it their own Year 3. People want Ben 10, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Jaws, Jumanji, Labyrinth, Men in Black, Overwatch, Ready Player One, Sherlock, Spaceballs, Stranger Things, The Big Bang Theory, Dragon Ball, My Hero Academia, Ruby, Animaniacs, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Flintstones, My Little Pony, Steven Universe, Miraculous, Thomas the Freaking Tank Engine, Rocky, The Pink Panther, Rick and Morty, Family Guy, Half-Life, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Dukes of Hazard, Detective Pikachu, Villainous, Star Trek, A Series of Unfortunate Events, 007, and Five Nights at Freddy's. Wow, I'm actually surprised nobody said has been ho- Okay, someone actually thought of making that. But one thing for sure, this is not a Hold My Beer name. It's far from Hold My Beer. This is basically Hold My Big Beer. You know, those monumental big beers that everyone in America makes? That's basically this. Because Traveler's Tale opened the doors to the multiverse and created possibly the best crossover ever created. And this game tops Avengers Endgame in hype. Because if the fanbase still wants more franchises to put into this game, then imagine the possibilities. 
in other words, I am less speechless on how this game is still alive, but even though the concept of the Toy to Life game is dead. And let me warn you, this game came out 6 years ago and people still want a year 3. So what is my verdict on LEGO Dimensions? Well, it's possibly is the best crossover game ever created. I mean, if you have the balls to basically create a goofy but epic crossover combining so many beloved franchises throughout the years, this is the game. I have no words. This is something that maybe comes out of fanfiction.net but basically it's higher budgeted, beloved, taking better care of, and it's amazing on what they can pull off. So, LEGO Dimension gets an 8 out of 10, and would I love year 3? Absolutely. And there are still people who still like this game and wants to see more of it. I would love to see more of this game and what can it pull off. I would love to see a LEGO Dimensions 2 or even see that it could be a Toy to Life game, or even just a regular game. Just bring this franchise back, I love it. Hey, some people you love it a lot! So, as always, I'm the Gaming Sherlock. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content.